Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And earlier today, I did a video on how to convert this to a bitmap and trace it, let Corel trace it. I trace these two by hand in very little time. And anybody could do this. Because we only have to trace, you know, to trace all the way around this guy would take you a little bit of time. We only have to trace half of it. And what we're going to do, we're actually going to move these out of the way and we're going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And then I'm going to take a two point line and just see how close that drawing is to the center of the page. And it's not, but we can take that line or the other object and just move it over till it's kind of in the center. So now we want to trace between these on this side. My favorite drawing tool, and a lot of people use a Bezier tool, I like three-point curve, and here's why. I'm gonna hold down the mouse, the left mouse button, and I'm gonna just bring that there. Now, if you click on this node, and we can go back and fix these in a second. I'm going, so I'm connecting the lines as I'm going, okay? So now we're gonna go on this side, we're gonna go ahead and close that gap, put a little rise on it, doesn't matter, we're gonna fix all that. I'm trying to do this where it is fast. So here I can go all the way down to this node and click right there. Now this is off, but we can add nodes. So take your smoothing or your shape tool and, and double click and add a node. Now, when you move this, you're moving both handles. And in this case, it worked. Maybe later on, we'll show how to use a cusp. Get your three-point line back. And here's why I like the three-point line. Bam. Go from there. Bam. I'm not going to close that up yet. Go from there. Bam. Now, we're a little bit off, but I can go across rounded items. And you've got to remember that you're not... You know, this is going to be your drawing after it's done. It doesn't have to be the exact copy out of the book. And as long as you connect to that node, you're connecting to two items. Now, we do want this part. So we'll take the three-point line, and we'll just go from there across and then come down. And then I'm going to, I'm going to go all the way over here. I mean, we're going to have to fix that, but that's pretty good. Now we're almost done and I'm gonna to go to there and just kind of bring that in. Now, for the video, that's good enough. I need to stop these lines, so I'm gonna go from there to there. When I do something like this, now I'm gonna to convert to the two-point line because once you set it down there, it stops. Now, let's take our rectangle tool just in case we have a leak and we don't. Now, we did not draw in his eye. We need his eye. So let's get our three-point line back, three-point curve tool back. And look how easy this is. Just go to the corner, make his eye, go to that node, go across there. And in that short of time, you made his eye. Now, while we're here, we're going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit and make it a little, little bit better like the drawing. We can move this node over here. We'll double click and make a node there and bring our double click, put a node there. And that looks pretty good. Now let's get our smart fill tool and you'll see it put in our eye. Now in the original drawing, there's some uh, stuff going on uh, with holes in his wings and you can add those very easily like we did the eyes. But here's kind of where the neat thing is, left click, right click. And I was drawing in 200 points for the video so you could see it a little bit better than a... <clears throat> and at this point, you could take your smoothing tool. And if you have X7 or above, you've got the smoothing tool. And we can smooth out a couple of these lines because it's going to make it th the thing look a little bit more symmetrical. Control D and make a duplicate. Holding down the control button and moving it here by using that handle. Whoop, we've got a, a leak somewhere. Let 
Let's see what we can do. One thing we can do is move our nudge factor 0 0.001 and just kind of move this side in a little bit because we're evidently leaking in the middle. Let's take our virtual segment delete key. Wow. Something is not connected on our line. Let's try it. Let's try the smart field tool again. Let's move it out of the way. And let's just delete all this. Grab that. Left click, right click, and black. This time it doesn't really matter. And let's control D and make a duplicate of this guy again. And holding down this handle, move it over. Now, in theory, we ought to be able to cut that line. And I do not know why we cannot. Let's try it one more time. I do this all the time. So something is wrong. Let's set our nudge factor back on something pretty low. Let's point zero one so it'll move a little faster. And let's just nudge this in a couple of times. Now we got a double line. Now it should definitely cut. There we go. Use your smart fill tool to fill this in. And there's your bat. Now he is perfectly symmetrical. You might not want him symmetrical. And while you've got him like this in black, one thing you could use is use the smear tool and you, you could smear some of these parts on one side more than the other and, and have him not quite as symmetrical. And say the middle is real symmetrical if we change our nub to something, our nub is way too big, let's change it to 0.5 inches. We're just smearing it down there. So the, and, and what the cool about the smear tool, the further up you go in your item, the longer you can smear it. Let's just make an example. I'm gonna grab it right there and I'm gonna start smearing. Look how it goes to a point. Now, if I start way up here and start smearing, well, in theory it works, but you could do a lot with this. I would I would get the smoothing tool back. So just disregard what I said. Sometimes that does that, I know. Smoothing tool, we'll set it on two inches. So we'll get a bigger nib and we'll just smooth this out. Now our bat's not symmetrical. And that didn't take very long and it might've been easier than trying to uh, bitmap trace it. So basically I have three bats that I've done in just a few minutes, at a t well, a few minutes at a time. And they're a little bit different as you can see. Anyway, give that a shot. Next time you have trouble tracing something, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.